Here are five things to know on this Tuesday morning. Investigators say a vehicle abandoned in Maine could be linked to a missing six year old boy from Florida. Jorge Morales goes by Jojo went missing from his home in Miami a month ago today. Now some personal items that might be related to the case were found in a car abandoned in the town of Littleton in Aristic County. Miami police say they believe the boy was abducted by his father, also named Jorge Morales, and his grandmother, Lillian Morales. Investigators say they could still be in Maine or may have gone to Canada. Police in Lewiston are investigating a crash that killed a pedestrian there. Investigators say it happened on Sabata Street at the Five Corners intersection last night. They say the investigation is ongoing. So far, nobody's facing any charges. That road was closed for some time last night. It is now back open. This morning, Zachary Borg will go on trial for charges stemming from the near fatal overdose of his baby daughter. This happened back in Corinna uh, in June of last year. Borg has waived his right to a jury trial, so a judge will hear the case and hand down a verdict. Penobscot County Assistant District Attorney Chelsea Lynn says Borg faces several charges, including aggravated unlawful furnishing of scheduled drugs, two counts of aggravated assault, and endangering the welfare of a child. We are expecting to learn the fate of one of the Mainers charged in connection with the January 6th Capitol riot later today. A judge in Washington, D.C. is set to hand down a verdict for Kyle Fitzsimons. He's from Lebanon. He's facing 11 charges, including three for assaulting police officers. Fitzsimons is expected to appear in court this morning at 10 o'clock. And families in Maine have the opportunity to get COVID-19 vaccines and boosters today. A clinic is happening at the Children's Museum and Theater of Maine in Portland from 2 to 4 this afternoon. And the Children's Museum is offering free admission to children who get vaccinated along with their adults. <laughs> All right, Todd, one more check of the weather. I just spotted this webcam. you got to take a look at it. It's just beautiful nice. up in Brownville. It's cool, 49. But the foliage looks beautiful and you've got some low clouds and a little fog, all very light fog kind of mixing in there too. There's your seven day. We'll develop some afternoon sun. It'll be mild again up near 70, an isolated shower. Same thing tomorrow. And then it does cool off end of the week, but it looks beautiful heading into the weekend and no big rainstorms in our site. All right, good stuff. Mm -hmm. That means I'll have to mow my lawn again. So. Yeah. You have a lot of opportunities too though. Oh goody. <laughs> Yeehaw.